let us take a moment of silent reflection in our busy day. Let us sing or reflect on O Lord my God when I in awesome wonder Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendour. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. 
the God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars, the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The vo Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all say, Gloria. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. During his lifetime, Jesus did many things, some recorded in the Gospels and others not recorded at all. All of this gives us a brief overview of the life and ministry of Jesus. If we were to break down his life, we would have his birth, and teenage years. We have his baptism and wilderness experience and that moves on to his ministry and ultimately his death and resurrection. His teaching could be summed up with discourses and discussions, parables and miracles. We hear a lot about parables, not so much about miracles, mainly because we do not think they are relevant today. The definition of a miracle is an extraordinary event manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. And so we tend to think miracles are confined to the ministry of Jesus. But they do occur in the Jewish scriptures. God sending manna from heaven. The fall of Jericho. Elijah replenishing the oil and meal at Zarephath. Raising the widow's son. The iron axe did float. Three people in a fiery furnace. In the ministry of Jesus we get miracles of turning water into wine, calming the storm raising Lazarus, miracles of healing the blind man, and so we could go on and on. We generally think though that miracles do not occur in our society. Do you? Do I believe in miracles? And the answer for myself is yes I do believe. Being in the birth of both my children, I defy you to say that life is not a miracle. As I gaze on the newborn child, its tiny fingers and toes, as they move, you cannot but believe in the miracle of life. Every day, even as I type this thought, my fingers are doing millions of actions to type to put the thoughts of my mind into action. Just the action of breathing and the pumping of the heart at 150 to 200 beats a minute, depending on age. That is a miracle. I look at trees and marvel at what has grown from the tiny seed. Indeed, a miracle. I look at the stars, planets and universe and see everything in place held together by gravity. A miracle. The miracle of healing as surgeons and doctors perform the most delicate of operations. The discovery of medicines so our doctors can prescribe pills to help in the healing process. A miracle of healing. Let us open our eyes to everything around us and marvel and believe in miracles. We take so much for granted these days 
that is why every day I continue to wonder how things work. Yes, Jesus did perform all kinds of miracles and the people were amazed at what he did. Are we amazed by the miracles of Jesus? Are we amazed by the miracle of life in our world today? Do we really believe in miracles? I do. What about you? We pray, Creator God, we marvel at the miracle of your handiwork, petals and spiders' webs and tiny grain of sand, perfect and accurate in microscopic beauty, precision tooling by your almighty hand. We thank you and praise you for the miracle of all the colours of creation, infinite variety of pigment and of shade, Genius at work in the brush strokes of nature, fingerprint of glory in the landscape you have made. Lord, we breathe your essence in the fragrance of flowers, priceless perfumes wrapped by you. Help us to appreciate and care for your creation, so that future generations experience your miracles anew. Amen. of the vastness of the sky, the brightness of the stars and the glory of the moon and the natural world inspire, guide and bless each one of us day by day. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with each one of us today and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>